this is Ray and Liz with Dunya Jellin Jellin, and we just bought a Pee Wee Camper half pint. Uh, you can see the uh, website address there, peeweecampers.com. We'd like to show you a few things about it and uh, why we chose it. Uh, also, some of you may be wondering what Dunya Jellin Jellin means. Yeah, Dunya Jellin Jellin means. Uh, traveling to the world that is in Indonesian language. So part of our traveling adventure. We've been looking at campers for about a year and we've gone back and forth from campers that would need a new, we'd have to buy a new tow vehicle, which weren't excited about that. I have a uh, Passat TDI, uh, which I use for work and it's really reliable. I get about 45 miles per gallon uh, traveling. Um, again, it's the TDI, the X diesel gate version. Um, and we haven't towed this a great deal, but it looks like we're going to be getting around 35 miles per gallon. Yes. So that was uh, important to us. We wanted to keep the travel expenses low and uh, be able to pull over, take a nap when need be. Uh, so we're going to look at some of the features of the Pee Wee Camp. I, not, I was not familiar with them uh, prior to one coming up for sale locally. Um, but they're out of Nashville, a small company. Um, they build a very solid trailer. Kind of their theme is to build not the lightest trailer, but a light trailer uh, that's built well and can handle traveling. And I can say this really pulls very nice. I'm guessing it weighs around 1,000, 1,100 pounds. I haven't had it on the scales yet, but I'm going to be doing so. So let's take a look. Yes. Let's go. Okay, well here's the Pee Wee Camper. Uh, we are the second owner, and uh, the previous owner, he spec'd it out uh, to be very basic, which is uh, right in line with us. Uh, we are going to make some changes to it, and, uh, some additions, uh, to make it um, more, a little more comfortable to travel in. But uh, yeah, the Pee Wee Camper, you can see they've got this uh, nice edging. Uh, this is an option the uh, spare here, 15 inch tires, um, a heavy duty two inch hitch. And the interesting thing about peewee, ham peewee campers is while this weighs about a thousand pounds, most manufacturers would have put a 2,500 pound axle underneath, but uh, this has a 3,500 pound axle underneath. So, and like I said, it uh, tows very well. You got the, these are an option. And we're going to be mounting uh, solar panels up here. And also probably a uh, do-it-yourself uh, solar water heater that we've seen on YouTube. And moving around to the back. This extra hitch, trailer hitch for for different mounts, like a bike carrier, is standard. You've got the step up here where you can get to your to your roof. As I mentioned, 15-inch wheels. and a nice heavy duty tongue jack. We'll have to bring that chain in a little. This is too long. The nice thing I like about it is the construction of this. They weld the end frames to the trailer and then they bolt the framing around those fr around and then this is attached to it this is aluminum siding both sides over half inch fiberglass impregnated plywood and according to their website they've got a proprietary edge treatment that they do on these on that plywood so 
That's about the only wood in it. It does have a, I think a half inch floor, but those are the only wood components. So hopefully uh, rot will not be an issue. This extra door is an option that the previous owner ordered. I think this window is an option. They usually come with air conditioning, an air conditioner, I think mounted in the nose. Um, but this one doesn't, doesn't have it and I'm hoping it's not something we need. We need. We're going to mount a, a max air fan on top so we'll get good ventilation. So. And then looking on the inside, you've got a five foot by eight foot area. Nice, wide open. We're looking at a queen trifold mattress, some shelving, um, and that sort of thing. Some uh, 12 volt plugs uh, on the inside. We've got a EcoFlow River Pro that we're going to be using and hook that up to the uh, solar power, the solar panel, and see how that meets our electrical needs. Like I said, very simple, very basic. Extension cord there and then you've got the plug in there and that's that's standard that comes with it. But like I said, we've got plans for it. We're going to add the solar panel, the fan, uh, do some work on the interior. We hope to make this a nice, comfortable traveling machine. Um, if you've got any questions, you can just go right here to peeweecampers.com. Um, it's a very sturdy, uh, well-built, and it pulls great. Um, got it. So like I said, with the Passat TDI, I'm getting 35 miles per gallon, it's, so very happy with that. Um, any questions on it, you can check out their website or send us a comment and I'll answer what I can. Um, but we appreciate you tuning in and uh, look for more adventures with the Pee Wee Camper to follow. This is my wife Liz. Hi. This is toward the back. This is comfy and sweet and nice. Door on the opposite side. Yes. This is strong enough. Okay. This just looks nice. Okay. You need to lock. Pull up like this and then you get some air from this little window. And then also we have the small window. On both sides. You just pull to the left like this, and then you have the, how do you call this one, the screen? Screen. So you also get some air. That's really nice. Yeah, so that's Liz in the back part of the camper, and then moving forward, you have the nose of the camper. And I think that's usually where the AC goes, but we're, we don't have that. You can also see the, the, light. the framing here. Yeah. And the previous owner ordered it without the uh, fan, but uh, we'll be adding one of those for ventilation. Yeah, we can get some air from here as well. Yeah. So I'll just close Liz back up in here until we get home. <laughs> but yeah, that's our Pee Wee Camper half pint. Uh, just got it, but so far very happy with it. Uh, we slept in it one night. It was nice. Um, and hope there are many more nights to come in it. Say goodbye, Liz. Bye, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.